Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on the 3D Rotation tool for Adobe Animate. Basically, this lets you rotate a movie clip symbol in a 3D space. Please take note, this will not work with graphic symbols, only movie clip symbols. With the symbol selected, go to the toolbar and click on the 3D Rotation tool. A circle with lines will appear on top of the symbol. Each line represents an axis. Putting your cursor over a line will show you what that line represents. The red line here will rotate the x-axis. Click and hold the red line and rotate your cursor clockwise around the circle. The symbol will begin to rotate. The green line will do the same thing for the y-axis. The blue line will rotate the z-axis. The orange circle will rotate the symbol on every axis based on where your mouse is. With the symbol selected, the Properties tab will show you the stats of each axis. Here you can mess with additional settings such as the location of the vanishing point in 3D space. But please note, the vanishing point will affect all 3D symbols in the project file. If you want a separate scene to have a different vanishing point, I recommend doing it in a separate FLA file. The Properties tab will also let you edit how strong the perspective angle is. Three D symbols cannot be classic or shape tweened. They can, however, be motion tweened. Insert some new frames and create a motion tween. Then select one of the new frames and insert a keyframe. I recommend selecting all in the Insert Keyframe selection. Use your arrow keys or your cursor to move the keyframe symbol to a new location. You'll notice the angle of the symbol will change based on where the vanishing point is. Try motion tweening the symbols in different angles. The behavior of the tween may break if the tween is too strong. Practice 3D tweening to understand its limits. Remember, you can still animate inside a movie clip symbol. For example, here is a floor texture moving down inside a movie clip. Here I apply the 3D rotation tool on the animated movie clip. Note the movie clip animation will only appear when exported. At the right angle, this road looks like it's endless. Here are some examples. I put a semi-transparent linear gradient on the layer above the floor. I can make the gradient look like an intense fog. Here I stretched out the symbol to fill the screen. You can also mask 3D symbols. Here I mask a symbol inside a circle. Here are some examples. This title screen is all just an animated movie clip symbol.
In this example, I used three different 3D symbols for the floor and birds. I also used the radio gradient on the floor to give a sense of distance. In the description, I have left some Adobe Animate files with some 3D examples. I hope this helps you learn the 3D rotation tool. It can be frustrating, but with a little practice, I'm sure you'll understand the tool in time.